The things with these tricks is that they're not obvious. They're not something a lot of people would actually notice specifically. But the impact they make, oof, is amazing. I'm Mr. Can I Play and welcome back to my channel where I do low spec gaming tutorials. The goal here is to get you to play any game that you'd like on a low end PC. Now Horizon Forbidden West has a minimum requirement of 16 GB RAM, Ryzen 3 CPU and a GTX 1650 4 GB VRAM which gets you 30 FPS at 720p. Now all that basically means that we need a high end PC to actually get decent FPS at 1080p. Now before diving into the tips that can actually get to smoother gameplay, there are two things that you need to know and number one is that the game isn't well optimized for the PC port. So if your graphics look anything like this on high settings, then go to my documents Horizon Forbidden West folder and delete it. Now this will erase all saved files, restarting the game, thus fixing any graphical issues that you may have. And number two, the game tends to crash if the GPU cannot handle the high settings or if you have less VRAM than needed. So change your settings in the menu or launcher to very low and that issue will be fixed. Now on high settings, the game can get you up to 15 frames per second. Mind you, this is on a dedicated GPU, the RX 580 which is my favorite and yes, I know it's an old card but it's one of the best GPUs out there to use. Now there are two tricks that will get you more FPS here. Number one is lowering the in-game settings to very low which applies to those with dedicated GPUs. Now the in-game settings have given us multiple options to trick to our liking so let's check each option and see the changes they bring and even compare them when set to low versus high. Now texture quality which gives more visually appealing quality to the textures of both the character and surrounding. So when you set this to low, there's slight changes to the feel and the look of everything. Texture filtering brings a bit of change when set to 16 times anisotropic compared to trilinear. And you can actually see this when you look at the ground or the surrounding. Shadow quality is for very detailed shadows. It doesn't bring a major change when set to low compared to high, but it does bring a massive boost in FPS. Screen space shadows give additional shadows, especially on foliage, giving us more details and visually impressive graphics so when set off, it simply removes the detailed shadows. Ambient occlusion has two settings, either turn them off or use the SSAO, with the difference being that the SSAO darkens creases and corners to add more depth. Screen space reflection is for quality reflection on reflective surfaces, and when you set it off, it reduces the amount of light that is reflected on the surfaces, basically means the objects won't reflect light well. Level of detail which increases the distance at which objects fade to lower detail level shows a more detailed environment when set to high as compared to low and this also affects the characters themselves. Hair quality is for increasing the density and the coverage of your character's hair which basically means on high settings it will be more realistic, there will be more strands of hair and it will become more detailed. Terrain quality simply adjusts the terrain rendered so on high the terrain has more details, more foliage, more stone soil and other environmental stuff. Water quality is for details on the water surfaces, the waves, the color, the water movement which when set to low reduces the amount of details, less waves, less movement and reflection. Clouds quality renders more detailed clouds which when set to low, the clouds look more like white fluffy cotton wool but this setting doesn't really affect much on the FPS, just visually appealing. Field of view is for increasing or decreasing the view angle and set this as per your liking, personally I prefer it at zero. Vignette which darkens the edges of your screen to stimulate camera lens behavior is more for visual effects, basically visually appealing but doesn't do much to increase FPS. Now the second trick is to tweak the configuration file in registry editor, software, Gorilla games graphic folder to force the game to lower the settings more and even lower the resolution scale to 800 by 600. Basically we are trying to break the graphics down to earn us a few more FPS. Now this usually works well for those with integrated graphics like the RX Vega 8. Now with that let's check out how it looks, feels and even compared to maximum settings. This is usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. <laughs> 